This is yesterday evening, 7.05 p.m. after I pair them up Noah one more time rain, because I, I was right here when it was a flooding. Alright, here we go, hit play. He has got his head an inch from the pan. I got an expander pan on there. He is, his head was literally, look at him. Look at that thing squat and pee right on my set. Now he looks at that bucket the fox likes and then he just, he just, oh boy, unbelievable. Well, two days later, there he is, four times in eight days. A clockwork. He's just milk boy. He likes that bucket. That's good. I put him some. I put him a handful of feathers in there today. And he, he is interested in but he just will not. from the same way, leaves off the same way. Big gray fox. Well, see you in two days. Okay, there he is. This is ever two nights. It's third time this week. Third time six days. Big gray fox. Like a coyote. Bacon, feathers, remnants of a squirrel. <laughs> he hiked his leg. So that's a that's a big male. He sure likes that bucket right there. He ain't a targeted species. But it'd be something to have him hanging out of that bucket. Yeah. Yeah, maybe next time. There he is. Waited two nights, come back, let's circle around. Golly. Look at him. Boy, he, he is interested in what's in the bucket. He just ain't interested enough to go stick his head in it. Son of a... Oh, boy. Look at that. Now you can smell that bacon and squirrel. He's up on the bucket. Squirrely, he's, 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 he's not liking something. Let's go around the back side. He's got his nose. Now he's scratching a flea or something. He's got his nose at them holes where that bacon is in the back. His head six inches from death. Golly. Oh boy. Well, there's the remake. I got a piece of wire back there that I run some bacon through to kind of keep it up off the ground, keep fire ants and whatever. Just tearing it up overnight. This has been a possum getting little trap right here. I've caught like six or seven possums in this one bucket. I caught a bobcat in that bucket with the whiskers. That was before I had to that was before I had to expand a pan. And then I've I've had a couple cats refuse whiskered conifers in that bucket. One of which was a two twenty which led me to upgrading one more size. But the cats like to walk Every time they come through before I put all that brush and whatever, they'd walk right down them logs, like fox. 
across that creek. Cross that creek right there and come up. Anyway, got one more cat I know that's in here. I'm working on him. Today is day 19 since he's crossed and the dang hog spooked him off unbelievably. That expanded pan is the ticket. Uh -huh. Oh boy. I'm just here checking my con bear and a bucket traps it for a bobcat. There's one with the prongs. I hadn't put a pan on it. And there's one with the pan. Real inviting. I have had some severe turnaways at this very bucket from cats. But I walk up here, my little my little gonna bear is gone. But there's a feather right there. Now, I don't know what in the world is down in this creek. We're fishing to see what it is. I hope it ain't no dang bird. Oh, my gosh. That's the third possum this week in that same bucket. Son of a gun. wouldn't do it. Mm. He circles back around. And then I'll... He just ain't having it. Look at him. Let's go around to the back side. Eyeball it a minute. Whew. Nope, just won't do it. That was yesterday morning at 7 30.
front shoulder his misery is over I bet that arrow went no telling where oh boy oh boy I have just made a major